What's up guys, welcome to another Rivals of Ixalan Draft League. And we've opened a pretty bad rare. <laughs> uh, one mana pretty much do nothing in this format. It's not exciting, but some of the other cards are good. Um, so we have Everdawn Champion, which is pretty good. Uh, three mana 2-2 two -two that just can't be dealt combat damage. Um, it can block forever, can attack forever. Really good with enchantments like Mark of the Vampire. Um, then we have Siren Reaver, just a really eff efficiently costed flyer. Um, most of the time, this is going to be a three mana, three two flyer. Uh, Buccaneer's Bravado, which I've actually been pretty impressed with as of late. Uh, Martyr of Dusk and Moment of Triumph are also pretty nice. So there's an interesting thing here. So if I take Everdon Champion, I guess the next best card is probably Siren Reaver. Um, but then there's also Martyr of Dusk, Moment of Triumph, and such. If I take Siren Reaver, um, there's only one other really good blue card here. Hmm. This is actually a tough pick. I think I'm going to stick with the Siren Reaver, though. I think this card's very good, and I don't want to pass a bunch of white cards along with this white uncommon, um, considering I think these are very similar. I don't know. I could be wrong. Oh, wow. All right. Well, there's Golden Demise, which I think I might just take. This is one of the better cards, in my opinion, in this format. I... I haven't actually been able to play with it. But seeing this second, I guess they must have taken like a Chupacabra over that. Um, let's see, so in blue there's Water Knot, which also could be a very good pick. Um, I think Gold Demise is better. I'm not a huge fan of the Ceratops. I mean, it is good. Um, I don't think it's f like first pickable though, because it's double colored. And, you know, if you take it, you're not in green white. Um, and frequently it's just a Grizzly Bears. Um, there are some ways to get there, like Hunt the Weak or uh, effects that deal damage, one damage each creature. So it, it has an upside, but very often it's just a two mana Grizzly Bears. I think here I'm going to take Golden Demise. I think it just has the highest upside and passing up on Water Knot, which hurts a little bit, but this card is so powerful if you can get it working. World Shaper. When it attacks, you may put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. When it dies, whoa. <laughs> Kind of cool. Okay. We have Moan of Craving, one of the better commons in the format. Raging Regisaur. Good card. World Shaper. This seems kind of weird. It's just a 4 mana 3 3. And I mean, I don't. you're not really going to need to ramp that much. I might just grab this Moment of Craving. It's a really efficiently costed, powerful removal spell. And I really do want to be in black for a Golden Demise. I'm going to take this. Okay, so this pack is less exciting. Um, Dead Man's Chest isn't really a card. Dinosaur Hunter is actually very powerful. Um, a good pirate, and being able to kill dinosaurs, like it's dinosaur death touch basically, I think is a very powerful effect. Because it's going to trade with most of the 2-2s, two and most things that are bigger than this are dinosaurs. Um, so that's an interesting card to look at. There's also Spire Winder. Um, I guess Woodland Stream too, if I think I'm going to be like green, black, blue. But as of now, I think I'll just take the Dinosaur Hunter. I have two very good black cards and only one good blue card. Wow, Golden Demise this late. Okay. Um, I think that's better than Dusk Legion Zealot. Especially, <laughs> I'm going to be killing my own guy with it. Um, but it is pretty close. Um, seeing this pretty exciting means black's pretty open. Um, now I need to prioritize like larger removal effects like Impale or the Chupacabra. Wow, C red too? Huh. Let's see. So I'm not going to be taking the Canal Monitor. Um, we could take a Traveler's Amulet because Golden Demise does require a decent amount of fixing. And I'd like to not play 2-2s two if possible so I can play this on turn 3, but... Um, the fact that once you ascend, you can actually only kill your opponent's creatures make this a very good. Um, so I do really like C Red. I don't think this is going to be the deck for it, necessarily. There's a Divine Verdict, which actually does go well, pretty well with these Golden Demises. So I think I'm going to take Divine Verdict. Um, hope to maybe wheel an amulet, but... Ooh, Sailor of Memes. Uh, in case I didn't say, I might be <laughs> secretly trying out a, a draft strategy that I've been thinking about doing. Um, 
which it'll be more clear the more I play, I think, or the more I draft. So I'll, I'll let you figure it out. Um, yeah, so we have Sailor of Means, Gleaming Barrier, Secrets of the Golden City, Sworn Guardian. I'm going to take the Sailor, though. This card's very powerful. Ooh, okay. The Brainstorm Augur, 4 mana 2-2, two, two, which is pretty costly, but draws you a card. So it's either that we could take... Or as Relic, which I don't think I need. Mutiny, which is very strong, but we're not really in red at the moment. I'll just take the Brainstorm Augur. Okay, so there's a Freebooter that came around. Card doesn't do much for us. Blazing Hope, I'm not too excited about. Death Spinner's good, but this deck is not aggro by any means. I'll take the Freebooter. It's unlikely we play it, but ooh, Secrets of the Hidden City got there. Got there, or Golden City. Find some Gleaming Barriers. This deck's really shaping up so far. Um, I'd like to find a couple more early two drops. Uh, one or two more Moment of Cravings would be nice. We could open good old Chupacabra in pack two. That'd be pretty solid. Although honestly, Impale is very similar in this deck, because we're not going to be Utilizing 2-2s two to much effect. Although 2-2s two are kind of cool, if you like attack in with them and then you golden demise, you can kill like a 4-4 four, four, or a 3-3. Three, three. Um, so they do have some merit. <laughs> Riverwise Augur. I actually don't know how good this card is. It's a 4-mana 2-2 two, two that is slightly better than just drawing a card, because it draws you the best card in the top 3. But then you still have to draw the other ones. World Shaper. It's a 4 mana 3-3 three, three. that ramps you up. Or we could just take Cleansing Ray as a sideboard card. I think this is better against Vampires than World Shaper. Alright, Woodland Stream. Probably going to be necessary here. Plummet is a good sideboard card. Rider Harness. Sorry, you're just never really going to be good there. Okay. Healer of Memes, Secrets of the Golden City. So we're kind of Esper with a random woodland stream. <laughs> I guess I'll put Siren Reaver in for now. It is a 3-2 flyer for 4, and this deck's not going to be attacking much. But it can attack. Well, <laughs> like we're adding red. Angrath is just a very powerful card. When it discards, steal a creature, and it kills the creature. This is a win condition for sure. And so what are we passing in our colors? There's a spell from Arazka. Hang on, this is Luminous Bonds. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, Water Knot would also be good, but like... Look at this. We're, we're going to take the Angrath. We're going to figure it out. What is this? Path of Metal, it deals 1 damage to each creature that doesn't have First Strike, Double Strike, Vigilance, or Haste. Whenever you attack with two creatures. And then you can deal 2 damage to an opponent, or destroy a creature that attacked you. Hmm. <laughs> Not amazing. I think here we just want a Luminous Bonds. Just a really efficient removal spell. I think it's better than Divine Verdict. I don't like having to hold up the mana. And really hope we can wheel this Evolving Wilds or Pirate's Pillage. But Luminous Bonds is just really solid. Whoa, okay. So, Polyraptor. It's an 8 mana 5-5. Five, five. Whenever it's dealt damage, you make a copy of it. <laughs> Crest and Herdcaller is a very good card. Honestly, though, I think this deck just needs a Traveler's Amulet. It's tough, because I might wheel it, but like, we really need a Traveler's Amulet in this deck. I'd love to play Crested Herd Caller, but I don't think, I don't think we can support that much nonsense. We're just going to grab this Traveler's Amulet. Ooh, Impale. Perfect. Passing up on Dinosaur Hunter, Swoon Guardian. Um, sea legs, I might actually play, but Impale's just very good. 
Oh, Zakama. This is Vigilance Reach Trample. Enters the battlefield, untap all lands you control. So it's a single green? Huh. Okay. It's a card to consider. For sure. Nine mana though. I think we already have like enough nonsense. We don't really need to go up to nine. Hmm. <laughs> no, no. I'm sticking to my guns here. I might just need a pirate's pillage. The problem is, so I, I would need it for mana fixing. But red is already my splash color. Jungle creeper is cool. I'm just gonna take the pillage. You never know. You never know. Okay, so here we have to choose between Mutiny and Secrets of the Golden City. Maybe we're just Mardu, actually. That could work out. Take a Mutiny. We have all removal. It's really hard to splash double blue cards like this. I already have one. I do want blue though to go with Sailor of Means and get some card advantage going. The mutiny is just a very powerful spell. I'll take the mutiny over the secrets, I think. There we go. Now there's another secrets of the Golden City, but I don't think. I don't, I don't know if the man is quite going to get there. He might just need a 2 5. Order of the Legion is very good. It's weird seeing it go this late. Probably the draft is like, what is going on? Someone's taking all the weird cards. The so Vampires is very open. Squire's Devotion would be good if we had more than one creature. <laughs> I'm going to take the Pterodon, though. Um, Awakened Amalgam. Each equal to the number of differently controlled lands. Well, this deck's going to have a lot of differently named lands, actually. So very frequently this will be like a 4 mana 3-3. Three, three. Could also just grab a Martyr of Dusk. Because waiting till turn 4 is pretty slow. I'll check it out though. We're here to do cool stuff, not just dirtle around. Okay, so sworn Vampire you can cast if you gained life. Likely won't be gaining life. It's just a 2 mana 2-2 two, two that enters tapped. Spell from Maraska helps us stay alive if we are going to play blue, but I think I'll take a Conquistador, you never know. There's another Pirate's Pillage. F of Metal, so this deals 1 damage to a bunch of creatures. But I think I just need this for mana fixing. Okay, we can play Dust Spinner on D, I guess. Okay, Sun Sentinel's actually not bad. And Shake the Foundations. There's more, I don't think I can really afford to go green. Um, if I am going to splash any color, it's going to be blue. Depends on how many Sailor of Means we can get, I think. Alright, we, we maybe need like one more way to win the game. Engrath is good and all, but uh, <laughs> not, it's not a solo way to win the game. That's a way to win the game. That is definitely a way to win the game. All right. <laughs> I'm down for this. Um, hope we wield maybe an Emissary of Sunrise, but Ona's busted. All right, we really need to prioritize treasure producing stuff and mana fixing. Okay, Seeker Squire or Vanquish the Weak. Seeker Squire draws us a card, so it's a two mana like two three usually. Hmm. Cause I have double golden demise. The Vanquish isn't amazing. Still good though. Still quite good. I'll just take a pink. I actually don't know what's better between Sneaker Squire and Vanquish. Also, Skyblade of the Legion is not terrible.
I'll just pick up a Vanquish the week. Ooh, Lightning Strike. Alright, I'll take a Lightning Strike. That card's solid. Alright, we have Mono Removal over here. Um, the reason I took Awakened Amalgam over the 2-drop is it's colorless, so it's impossible for us to get color screwed with this. Although it is pretty bad if we are color screwed, because then it's like a 4-mana 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Which isn't amazing. Um, Field of Rune is like really bad mana fixing. Dowsing Dagger would be really good in this deck, but never going to be able to transform it. We have another Vanquish the Week or a Fire Cannon Blast. I think I'm just going to pick up this Vanquish the Week though. And actually, I'll probably play Gilded Sentinel on the wheel. Probably not going to be playing Legion Conquistador. Um, I'll be taking Traveler's Amulet over just about everything. Actually, our mana isn't terrible, the more I think about it. Um, so I want something that can block efficiently. I only have five creatures, so Prying Blade isn't amazing. Although it would fix our mana. Um... Village, Vona, Angrath. I actually don't know what the pick is here. I'm not going to be attacking with two creatures. This is going to die. I want something that can block, so I don't want a headstrong brood. I don't have dinos for Pterodon Knight. I'll take a Windstrider. You never know. This sacrifice a creature to make treasure. Oh, Looming Altasaur is perfect for this deck. Unkillable. Alright, the mana is going to be really tough. Um, okay, so this is a target opponent discards a card. Two cards. If you attack with a creature, you get a treasure. So how many early creatures do I have that can attack? Or do I just grab another Legion Conquistador? Just go to Value Town. <laughs> we're, we're going straight to Valley Town. Unknown Shores is an automatic pickup for this deck. The fixing is not amazing, and we're just fully three colors. Although, actually, we're basically just black, white, splashing red. So, unclaimed territory can help us cast creatures, but that's not super amazing. Fathom Fleet Firebrand is good, but I think I actually want the Queen's Bay Soldier instead. Um, just because it's in a color that I'm more likely to have on turn two. And I'm not going to have much red to activate this. So yeah, as weird as it is, I think I'm taking this guy, just so I can survive. My late game's pretty good. I think. <laughs> Who knows, man. Uh. Yeah. Ooh, Ancient Brontodon. I'm not going to be casting any of these cards. Let's take a Rummaging Goblin for like a really grindy matchup. Sunrise Seeker we might need to play just to have more win conditions. Archer and Non-Basic Land. Oh, they have to have Non-Basics. Pretty unlikely. Although there are more Non-Basics in this format. I guess maybe I want a Hijack. If I ever play against the person with that 9-drop creature, which I kind of wish I had, because I would guarantee I have a way to win the game. Right now, it's <laughs> going to be a little tough. We have Vona and Angrath. This is a bizarre deck. Sailor of Means. Sailor of Means. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I could afford blue. It would be really nice to play some Secrets in the Golden City, but I don't think we're going to get there on that. Um, Shake the Foundations can be sideboard. I 
I kind of want to limit my red, so I'll just do that. Hmm. Let's play 22. Problem is, then I don't have any treasure tokens. It's just two, three red cards. What else do we have? Is this a dark inquiry deck? I actually don't even know. So we're pretty much black, white, splashing red for Angrath, Lightning Strike, and Mutiny. We could main deck a Cleansing Ray. Probably just a Kills It Sentinel is better, to be honest. <laughs> just guarantees we can cast a creature on turn four, and it's going to be worse than Awaken Amalgam almost all the time. All right, so this mana base, we have Traveler's Amulet, Unknown Shores, three red sources, eight. Yeah, I'm gonna add this for now and see how that looks, sorting my color, because we have a lot of double black cards. We wanna be able to golden demise early so we don't just die. Um, so black sources right now, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's actually not terrible. White sources, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We definitely need more white sources. I think 10 black sources is enough. So white sources, we have 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine's too many. So we can cut a plains for a mountain. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten black sources. One, two, three, four, five, six, seventy nine, or seventy eight white, and then four red sources. I think that's actually okay. We have just a random two of Legion Conquistador. We really need to protect our threats, because this deck does not have many ways to win the game. And then, if we see they have a lot of little creatures, we can put in Shake the Foundations. We also have Cleansing Ray. If they're really dirtily, we can side into blue. Yeah. Yeah, let's run it like this. You guys, round one. 